Well, a Greater <laughs> Boston starts with a community coming together to help families who lost their home. They're trying to make their holidays brighter and let them know they are not alone. Jordan is back with their story. Jordan? Kate and Liam, multiple families were displaced on Thanksgiving following a fire in Norwood. Some of them stuck without a home now for the holidays, and the town of Norwood is rallying around them, hoping to give them something to smile about this season. On Thanksgiving night, three families were displaced in Norwood after this fire tore through a multifamily home. These photos from the police department showing the aftermath. Two families still looking for a place to stay. It's a very tough situation to be in. I mean, just speaking about it is tough, so actually being part of it is, is that much tougher. Now the community is coming together to help, collecting donations for the families who lost everything in the fire, like Genesis is. We got out of the house. Um, the most of it, what I thought was like to get my whole family and to leave everything behind because I didn't really like feel like I needed anything else other than my family with me. Officer Baguma is helping her get through her school days in the meantime with the help of school resource dog Sally. I was sad because my cat was the inside and I didn't feel like um, safe yeah. without my cat. But Norwood police and fire are hoping these families can get more of what they need before Christmas. They're collecting shoes, clothing, and gift cards for things like grocery or retail stores. The items can be dropped off at Golden Opportunities for Independence or the Norwood Fire Department. The family can actually go out and be able to purchase things that are, um, you know, in their nature that are that are familiar to them. And firefighter Paul Ronco has a message for everyone in hopes of saving another family from this devastating situation. I can't stress enough uh, the importance of smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. Make sure they're working uh, throughout the year, especially during the holidays. You know, nobody can do it alone, but but together we can, you know, get this family back on their feet. Genesis's cat, by the way, did make it out safely. Officer Baguma says time is running out on these families finding lodging. A GoFundMe has also been set up, and both Officer Baguma and Firefighter Paul Ronco are so amazed by the generosity they've seen from their Norwood neighbors. We have all of the family's information, including their clothing and shoe sizes, up on our website, WBZ.com. Kate, Liam. They help, the, they help these people and makes the whole community better. Fantastic. I just, I love that story. All right.